Why do I read Christian books? Well, because that's who I am. That's my life, that's my identity. And I'm not a reader, but um, I like to read what other people have to say about being a Christian. So I want to keep knowing God. And I think by reading Christian books, that really helps me. I read once a week when I have coffee with Bill at the coffee club. Some of you might have seen the Tuesdays with Bill posts. So I take my book and for two hours I sit there and just get totally absorbed in what I'm reading. Probably about 10 years into being a Christian, um, I wanted to know more about what it was to actually be a Christian. What did Jesus do for me when he died on the cross? And there was one book that actually just, it literally changed my life. It was called Justification Accomplished and Applied by Andrew Murray. And the part in particular that blew me away was on justification by faith, because it meant that I was secure in my salvation, because I had done nothing and I couldn't do anything, but he had done everything for me. And I'd, you know, I've heard about people who have been unsure about their salvation or had times of doubts, but I can say that ever since that book, I have never, ever doubted my salvation. Another book that has been pretty instrumental in my Christian walk has been Knowing God by um, J.I. Packer. It's about just standing in awe of who God is. And as I know what God's like more, I, I, I know the person who actually planned that out to send Jesus to save me. And the more I know about him, the more I just stand in awe of him and I stand in awe of my salvation. Another book that's been really helpful is When Life and Beliefs Collide by Carolyn Custis James. And I like this book because when life hits me like a bus and my past comes up to haunt me, it's my beliefs that are going to determine how I fare in those times. What I've found is wrong beliefs can make me either blame God, they can make set me off on the wrong track, but the more I understand my beliefs about God and, and my salvation, then the stronger I'm gonna be in those difficult times. And I know there are some people for whom reading is really difficult. It might be, you might have dyslexia or something like that. I wonder how it would work if you got alongside someone who likes to read out loud, I like to read out loud, and you got them to read the book to you. And in that context then you can have some fellowship about what you're reading and perhaps learn together. I'm not a reader. If I had to choose between reading a book and making something with my hands, I would choose that over reading. But someone said to me once that you will always find time to do what you're passionate about. And because I've become passionate about knowing Jesus and knowing God and what that means, then I've always been able to find some time to do it.